So in this video, we are going to solve the inequalities graphically in two-dimensional plane. Two-dimensional plane means x, y plane. Okay. So the first question given as x plus y less than 5. For that, I have drawn the x axis and y axis. Can you see? Here I have marked x. To the left I have marked x dash. On top I have marked a y and uh, at the bottom I have marked a y dash. And in the center I will be marking O. O means the origin. Okay. And the first point I will mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 etc. To the left uh, that means a negative axis I will mark minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And to the top of y axis, that means positive y axis, writing should be done to the left of the y axis. Okay. 1, mark the point right 2, again mark the point right 3, the next point 4, the next point mark it and write as 5, 6, etc. To the left also, we will write on the left side, to, to the bottom part, that means negative y axis, right to the left of axis, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Okay, so now we are going to plot the graph of the equation. Actually, the question given us, solve the following inequalities graphically in two-dimensional plane. And the inequality given us x plus y less than 5. We are not going to draw the graph of the inequality. First, the we will be actually shading the region in which the points x and y lies satisfying the inequality. So the graph which we are going to draw is the graph of the equality. Equality means take the equation x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, the inequality given as x plus y less than 5, convert it into equality x plus y equal to 5. This is a linear equation in two variables. So the graph will be a straight line. You draw that line on the axis. Okay. To draw the graph of x plus y equal to y, x plus y equal to 5, you know the method, isn't it? You have done it from previous classes. That means 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. So you are fa very familiar with the graph. So what we will do is, we will draw a table. We will mark x and y, isn't it? We will put the value for x and the corresponding value we will find out. For drawing a line, we require only two points. But... Still, since we are drawing, we will take 3 points. So, I am taking the value of x as 0, 1 and 2. 3 points I gave. When x takes the value 0, we have the equation x plus y is equal to 5. Isn't it? When x takes the value 0, 0 plus y is equal to 5. So, what will be the value of y? y is 5. Okay. When x takes the value 1, 1 plus y will be equal to 5. So, that y is equal to 5 minus 1 which gives you the value 4. So, when x is 1, y takes the value 4. Same way, when x takes the value 2, the equation becomes 2 plus y is equal to 5. So that y is equal to 5 minus 2 which gives you value 3. So we are getting 3 points. 1 is 0, 5. Second is 1, 4 and the third is 2, 3. 0, 5. Where will it lie? 0 means it is the origin. Okay, 5. 0, 5 is the first point. So 0, 5. 5 where I have to take on the y axis. So this is the point corresponding to 0, 5. Mark it out. Hmm? The next point is 1, 4, where we have to take 1 on the x-axis. And the point is 1, 4. Moving to the top, we have to take the point 4. Okay, so this will be the point 1, 4. Okay, then move to the third point. It is 2, 3. So take 2 on the x-axis and move the point. And we have to mark the point corresponding to 3 on the y-axis. So this is the point 2, 3. So join these three points using a line. Draw a lengthy line. Okay. So after drawing the line, you have to write the equation. The equation is x plus y equal to 5. So write like this, x plus y equal to 5. This is the line corresponding to x plus y equal to 5. And our question is to solve this inequality x plus y less than 5. So where will be the inequality or where will be the region corresponding to this inequality? To find out that, either it will be the region to the down part of the line which we drawn otherwise it will be to the upper part okay so tell to select that what we will do is we will take the inequality again we will take the inequality x plus y it, we are taking the inequality plus 5 less than 5 okay and we will put the value 0 and 0 for x so what we will get 0 plus 0 less than 5 
that means 0 less than 5. 0 less than 5. Check whether this inequality is correct or not. What I did is, I draw the graph by plotting the points. I got the graph and the solution will be either to the bottom part of the line, otherwise to the top part of the line. To get that, what I did is, I took the inequality and for both x and y, I gave the point or I gave the value 0. So, we are getting the inequality 0 less than 5. And check whether this inequality is correct or not. And we are very sure that 0 is a number less than 5. So, the inequality is correct. Okay. So, if the inequality is correct, check the region. The line divides the whole region into two. One to the bottom part and the second one to the top part. Okay. So, check the region. If this inequality is correct, check the region in which 0, 0 lies. Is it to the down part or the top part? 0, 0 is the origin, isn't it? And that lies to the down part of the line which we draw. So, the required region will be this one. Means the down part of the line. So, we have to shade like this. We cannot, we are not able to shade the full page. So, we will show the graph. Means the solution like this. Suppose you are getting a value 0 greater than 5. Suppose. Okay. So, we know that this inequality is wrong. Hmm? Then what we will do? We will take the point, we will take the region in which 0 lies. It is down part, isn't it? So, we will exclude that point. The other part will be the solution. If the inequality becomes wrong, we have to take the region where 0, 0 does not lie. The top of part, in the top of part, 0, 0 does not lie. So, in that case, if, if we are getting an inequality, if we are getting a wrong inequality, we will change the upper part. If we are getting a right inequality, we will change the region in which 0, 0 lies. Okay? So, this is the region. This is the solution.